created some new cookbooks and I have been loving to make crock pot recipes. This is my second one this week that I've made and I've had some really good recipes out of this cookbook. So we are trying another one. Today I'm making a slow cooker pot roast and I had most of all of the ingredients kind of making it my own this morning, but I love putting crock pot recipes on first thing in the morning. Your dinner is cooking and you're able to take care of your dishes. So that way when your dinner is all done, all you have to worry about is the plates that you ate off of. I love that crock pot recipes are just quick and easy and they have the best flavor. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to get to spend today with you all. We're just gonna be hanging out. I wanna do some things around the house. I put a crock pot recipe on this morning and it's already smelling so good. I used that new cookbook that I shared with you guys in my thrift haul. It is called Favorite Slow Cooker Recipes, this one. And I made the pot roast out of it and it was really easy to follow. This is the recipe that I'm cooking. I kind of put my own little twist to it, so I'm hoping that it still turns out amazing. It's smelling good, so I'm thinking it's gonna turn out good. I made another recipe in it the other day, and it was so good. So I'm already a fan of these cookbooks. I just love having a cookbook, because when you run out of dinner options, like dinner ideas, you can just browse through and find something to cook, because I feel like I've been like running out of ideas in the kitchen and I just wanna try some new recipes. So it's been really fun having all of these cookbooks that I thrifted. So I don't have to worry about dinner tonight, which is amazing. I love crock pot recipes because you can kind of just like put it on in the morning, take care of all of the dishes, which is what I did. And the only dishes we'll have tonight is just literally the crock pot and then like whatever plates we use. So. I've been loving these crock pot recipes, but I wanna pop into Lowe's. I picked up some flowers the other day for my garden and I only picked up two because I really wanted to see how it looked. I got these like little hangers to be able to hang like the basket style flowers. And it looks really cute with the two that I picked up. So I wanna pick up two more. So I do need to go to Lowe's to get that. Who knows, I may pick up some more flowers as well. We'll see. But I also want to prep out some juices before we go. I've been loving to juice. So I want to juice like a healthy fruit juice we can have. And then also like a healthy like veggie juice. I have some beets in the fridge. So I wanna make something with beets. So we're gonna go through the fridge and kind of see what we can create. I got a brand new juicer. So I I'm gonna get that unboxed and let's make some juice together. This is my new Hiram Slow Juicer and I'm so excited to be partnering with them in today's video to share with you guys the H400 Slow Juicer. I was super impressed with how everything came boxed and packaged. I went with the white color. I thought that it would just fit my kitchen so well, but it came in so many other different color options. I went ahead and washed all of the pieces and gave them a good dry and it was super easy to snap everything back together. We have a juicer all set up. I went ahead and sliced some of the apples. I'm gonna see how much I'm going to need to make this apple juice. We're gonna make some apple juice and then I also wanna make a green juice as well. But I wanted to start with the apple juice first. Um, I'm gonna fill the chamber up. You can fill it up to this line right here. So let's get our apples added. One of my favorite things about this Hiram juicer is that you're able to put your fruit in there and walk away. This is a game changer with making juices in the morning. You don't have to sit there and babysit your juicer. You can pop it in there and let the juicer do the work for you. And I could not believe how smooth it was able to juice these apples. Our 
apple juice is all done and I tried a little bit, it tastes so good, you guys. It did such a good job making the juice. Um, I will say it has very little bit of pulp in it. I personally don't mind a little bit of pulp, but if you want no pulp, you can definitely strain it. But a little bit of pulp is actually really good for you. So I'm gonna keep it just like that. And then I wanna prep out a healthy a little veggie juice. I usually will call this my green juice, but I don't know if it's gonna turn green this time since I am adding a quite a bit of beets. So we'll see what color it is. I have added beets to my green juice before, but never this amount. So we will see what color it turns out, but I have a whole bunch of some spinach. I have some lemons, some little cutie oranges that I wanted to use in the juice, some celery. I also have some apples. And I love doing a base of fruit, so that way our little veggie juice does not taste like a veggie juice. So whenever I make a green juice, I'll always pick a fruit as the base. You can pick several fruits. Sometimes I'll do just oranges, whatever you have. But since I had a ton of apples, we're just gonna do the base apples. And we're just gonna pop all of this in the juicer. I'll probably have to do two batches, and we will see how it turns out. The juicer did an amazing job on the apple juice, but the true test was if it would be able to blend and juice these beets. And you guys, it was able to blend right through them. The juice was super smooth. It wasn't gritty and the machine is really quiet, which I really like. I will leave the link to this Hiram juicer down below. I know you guys will love it. If you enjoy juicing or want to get into juicing, I highly recommend you pick up this juicer. Here are our juices. We have some apple juice, which I already know is amazing. And then I will be trying this combination of juices for the first time. So we're gonna do a little taste test. I already poured a glass, so let's give it a try. All right, let's try this juice. I've never made this combination before, so I'm really excited. It smells like beets. So we will see if it tastes like straight beets. I like beets, but I don't think I would like a juice that was just straight beets. I don't know, we'll see. But since I put apple in there, what I've been finding out when you make juices, if you do a base of fruit, you almost never really taste the vegetables. So let's give it a try. Ooh. Mmm. One more taste. This tastes really good. I definitely taste the apples in here. My tongue is purple. I taste the apples. I also taste, what else do I taste? I taste the orange. I don't taste any spinach. I definitely taste the beets, but it's not like an overpowering taste of the beets. I taste more apple than I do the beets. So this is really good. It's also really sweet as well. So I wasn't expecting it to be this sweet, but I did add quite a bit of apples to it. But beets has so much amazing benefits for you. Look it up. I was reading up of like all the benefits that beets has. So I definitely want to incorporate beets in my little veggie juices that I make. I usually make a green juice. It's always green. So the fact that it's this like vibrant purple color, so beautiful. But be careful when you're chopping your beets because the last time I was chopping up some beets for a salad, it stained my wooden cutting board and I could not get the beets out. So now I'm really careful whenever I'm working with beets because it does stain. But I'm going to finish this juice. I love that the juicer was so easy to clean. It literally only took like two minutes for me to wash the juicer. So that was amazing. But I'm gonna finish this juice and we're gonna head to hopefully get some flowers to add to our garden. We popped into Lowe's and were able to get all of our flowers. So I picked up two of these basket style flowers for our garden. I thought they would just be so beautiful to have on both sides. And then I just picked up some random flowers. I really liked these hot pink ones. I picked up a variation of some different ones. I'm not sure where I'm going to plant them at yet. And then these are the basket ones that I picked up the other day. And I think they look so good in the garden. Okay, I wanna give you guys a little update from last week. We have some growth. So you guys already saw that our parsley was coming in, but I have my jalapeno peppers in. They are huge, you guys. They are almost ready to be picked. Look at the size of this jalapeno pepper. That is 
huge. So we have this guy, and then we also have this one right there. Look how big that looks. Oh my gosh. So jalapenos are doing well. I'm gonna be able to pick this very soon. And then over here we have a banana pepper coming in. So we have this little baby coming in. And then we also have this one right here that is almost ready. Look at that banana pepper. It's grown so much. So that's everything here. Tomato plant is growing tall up the arch trellis. I did prune all the suckers off, so it should be growing up a lot taller. That's looking really nice. And over here, we have another banana pepper. And I saw a banana pepper this morning. Do you guys see this banana pepper? It is almost ready. It is grown so, so much. We have this one and we have some babies on there as well. I've been making a ton of salad, so you can see it looks a lot smaller than the last time. I've just been cutting around the perimeter of the lettuce and I've been having a salad like every day. So hopefully this will grow back. It was so lush, you guys. Cucumber's doing amazing. It's already starting to trail up the arch trellis. Look how tall it's growing. Oh my gosh, I am so, so proud of our cucumber. We have some jalapenos growing over here as well. Look at the size of these oh my gosh we have one there and then also a really nice size one right there so we're gonna let this grow probably for another week and then I'll probably be able to pick one and then here's our banana pepper over here do you guys see that little banana pepper oh my gosh it's doing so well our cucumbers are doing amazing on this side as well and then we also have right here our zucchini that's doing really well our radishes are doing awesome basil you guys already saw that um, and then our zinnias are growing nice and tall so that is the update then I added this little bird feeder in here but I've been getting a lot of butterflies in my garden you guys I just fill it up with some fresh water each day so I need to dump this out and add some more and I thrifted this at the thrift store isn't it so cute I also got that little guy from the thrift store as well it's like a little birdie and it's so cute I love it on my garden bed it's a bell I want to thrift some little decor that I can keep out here you guys this smells absolutely amazing. I'm just going to mix everything together. Oh my gosh, the beef is already shredding. The camera lens keeps fogging up, but just going to pour this little cornstarch mixture in here. We're going to give it a good mix and we're going to cover it for one additional hour on high. This crock pot pot roast was a 10 out of 10. It was amazing, you guys. The meat just fell apart. Highly recommend it, and I will definitely be making it again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join the family here on my YouTube channel, and I will be seeing you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed.